This project, you're going to learn how to use a bat. You're going to use how, learn how to choke your pot and how to cut the rim off. Um, there's different types of bats. Um, we have these wooden ones. We have these plastic ones. Um, everybody has their own preference, so figure out which one works best for you. These are the bat pins. It's a pin with a wing nut on the bottom. You need to make sure that those are tight, that they're not wiggling. Um, and then when you put your bat on, you need to make sure your bat's clean. Okay, so if it's not clean, you want to clean it off. Um, you also want to make sure the wheel head's clean. If there's a chunk of clay on here, it's going to wobble, which is bad. Um, when you put your bat on, you want to make sure that it doesn't move. So see how that's moving a little bit? So to test it, I'm going this way. I'm going this way. And you also want to make sure sometimes they warp, and so they'll like rock back and forth. If it, any of those tests, they fail, which this one did, first thing I do is flip it over and see if it fits better on this side. In this case, it doesn't, okay? So then you just have to take that bat off and try to find one that fits better. Um, these bats are a little bit different. It goes on like so. Fits pretty good. Doesn't wobble, okay? You're gonna take your clay. You're gonna start off like a cylinder. If you haven't practiced coning up, I would suggest doing that. Kind of loosens your clay up, prepares it for throwing. To cone up, I'm putting the heels of my hands at seven and two, and squeezing up, and then pushing down. The base is, uh, the first step is going to need to throw a cylinder. So you go back to what you learned when you threw cylinders. Oh dear. Um, with, with bulls, you left a pretty thick bottom so you could trim the foot. With cylinders, we go back to about a pinky thickness from the back. Got some air bubbles, which will make it very difficult. Okay, so a lot of times when people um, start making bases, they make them and they kind of look like cowbells, like that top portion. Um, there's a couple ways that that happens. Um, one of them is I think people pull the floor out too wide. Um, so make sure you don't pull it out too wide. I would say a little bit less than your sponge. And I'll show you another trick to not get the cowbell in a second. So again, you wanna make sure that you flatten the floor have that nice 90 degree angle in there and then you're just going to approach it like you're throwing a cylinder I think you have like a huge chunk of hard clay or something in here it's making it a little goofy I like to keep this small okay don't let this go wide hi pushing at the bottom where it's thick bring that clay up Do you get your art names in? Art show names? Yeah. But it's as we discussed, I only sent three because of. Oh, yes. That's okay. That's all right. Um, to cut the rim off, you're going to use your pinchers like this to support it. You're going to hold on to this tight and you're going to gradually put this in. Leave that rim off. That's a good trick to find and learn, right? Oh, this is the staining clay. Ugh. Again, applying pressure at the bottom. Less pressure as they go to the top. Again, that's where you must have a hard piece of clay in there. I think that's the one that dropped on the floor. Oh, that's, I'm sure your mother will appreciate that. Okay, sorry. Bye. Okay, so I'm really working on getting a nice, even cylinder. So now I have my nice, even cylinder. I'm gonna work on bellying out. So to belly out, remember when we did um, bowls, the inside fingertips were a little bit below, so you could push that belly out. 
Um, that's how we're going to get the belly out. But then you can also switch your fingers back to cylinder formation to make it come back in. Okay? So you're combining those two skills. Another way to make it so it doesn't look like a dumbbell, that's not on correctly. Nope. Um, is don't start bellying out right here. That's how you get that no. solid okay. shape right there. Um, come up a little bit and then belly out gradually. This can be done gradually. You can do it as many times as you need to to get the belly that you want. Okay, so at this point, the bottom half of the pot is done, okay? Because I'm gonna start choking this in and I won't be able to get down there anymore. Before I start choking, I'm gonna make sure all that water is out in the inside. If we leave water in the bottom, what will happen? It'll crack, yep. So now I have to throw the rest of this pot without getting water in the middle. How we do that is we put our hand like this and then we put the water on our hand so that we can control that it only goes on the outside. Make sure your hands are wet. You're gonna choke. You don't just choke in one spot. You kind of gradually choke in and come up. And this is done gradually also. Every time you choke, like so, your rim's gonna get a little uneven. That's why you're learning how to cut it off. But every time you choke, you then have to do a light pull where you choked. Getting that wet on the outside, choking it more. Again, every time you choke, you have to pull. Be careful when you pull it that you don't undo what you just choked. This room's getting a little out of control, so I'm using my pincher fingers to support this wall. If I just try to shove this in, it's gonna mess it up. So I'm supporting it and then gradually putting the new tool in. Um, I like to use a rib to kind of clean up, get some nicer curves going on. So, and then another step that's being added is trimming on the wheel. So before you do cylinders, you just did an undercut, right? But now I'm going to teach you how to get rid of this extra weight down here, and it'll also make it appear taller and more out. Um, so with the tip of this tool angled side up you hold on it to it really tight I like to get it a little wet and you're gonna gradually separate that clay you can do that multiple times if you think oh I think it's probably still a little thick down there it doesn't you can go along with the curve. Like if this was the, a pencil, it's like you're drawing the curve with it. So you don't just have to go straight down. So see how that kind of looks like I put high heels on? Go ahead and do your undercut. And then since it's on a bat, clean the bat off. Sometimes we write our names on it. Take this off, go put it in front of the fan until the end of class, then you can cut it off the bat at the end of class, put it on a board. Unfortunately, we don't have enough bats for you to store these on the bats, um, but at least it gives it time to dry um, or get a leather hard a little bit so you can transfer to a bat or a board. Any questions? Okay, there you go.